everybody, good morning. This is Jean here, Jean True Love from True Love Quilts for You. Um, just a little introduction. Um, I We have just gotten back from a, several days away um, visiting um, our son's um, a sort of a working holiday um, who's a house, have houses up in the mountains here in Pennsylvania, up in the Poconos. Um, I was doing some things, but Ian and Maxwell and um, were, were t took their tools up. They are renovating a house. Our sons own a home up there along with my brother, Donald. I think you've met him. And my sister-in-law, Patty. Um, they're renovating a house and they are nearing completion to it. They've been working on it um, just on weekends and during the week uh, occasionally um, up in the Pocono Mountains. So they um, were on the finishing stretch to have um, members of the family go up and enjoy the lovely, beautiful um, mountain air. It was really, really lovely. So we went up for several days, just had a lovely time. I'm going to be putting a little bit of, um, right in the beginning here, just right before we left several days ago, of Maxwell working on his Lego car. He's he's getting there. He's just so funny. He keeps saying, I'm, I'm missing pieces, I'm missing pieces, and then he finds them. So this is just a few little, few little bits. And the video is not a, an awfully lot. It's just, um, I videoed us going up um, on the highway and then just the, what the the, um, the guys were working on our grandson Jackson was there um, let me just see there was eight of us my my brother and sister-in-law um, our friend Roger our my son Justin um, who owns the property also along with our son Jordan um, who's not there they own the property with Donald um, Ian Maxwell uh, Roger myself so it was and Jackson it was just lovely um, being together and working hard working hard to try to get this um, this renovation project completed so the family can um, go up and, and um, relax it's on Lake Wallenpawpak and what Lake Wallenpawpak is a, a huge um, massive lake in upstate Pennsylvania a man-made lake Lake Wallenpawpak and um, they are up on the mountain looking over um, down to the lake so I've just put a few pictures um, where they are up up on the mountain um, and me just walking around and enjoying the fresh air so I hope you enjoy this video just a few little bits of our weekend away um, we had a lovely time and I was thinking about all of you guys and just wanted to check in and um, I will be doing some sewing I think a little bit in a little bit but for now this is just a day in the life of the true loves and um, I hope you enjoy um, the video thanks a lot folks and as always love from the true loves see ya So are you getting ready to go? Yeah, I'm getting ready to go. Were you upset? Not, no, not really. Good. We're going to go have a break, okay? I'm, I counted eight pieces. I think I'm missing pieces out of that set. Okay. And it's, I have to order some pieces online. Okay. If that's how you think it's going to go, if you have to order pieces. If. You said that about the last missing piece and those are outside pieces this is a connecting piece which connects all the outside pieces to, together okay you you understand that yeah i understand you well what what you can't really see unless you start taking things apart so now i have to go through from page one and you count all the number four pieces are you looking forward to that I already counted two pieces. You counted two out of? Ten. So there's supposed to be ten pieces out of these four, number four pieces. Well, if anyone can what? do it, Maxwell, you can do it. it, it it's, 
It's problem solving and math. It is problem solving. And you're asking me? You just called me in and said, Mom, can you help me with math? Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, now I'm on the other side of our staircase. Hello again. Chris Maxwell, are you obsessing? <laughs> Um, a little bit? <laughs> yes, I'm an obsessive character. Yeah, no, you're not obsessive, but um, you are... Go on. I wouldn't be surprised if I start actually counting all these number four pieces. Right. And I, I count eight of them. I put eight in, and there should be two more. Okay. I don't want to order these Lego, Lego Technic pieces are a whopping fifty dollars online. You're not spending fifty dollars to no, order these, another the, piece. These, these are specialty pieces. Well, we're not spending fifty bucks for a, a little tiny connector, which is an inch long. Then I, I won't finish the car. Well, is that like blackmailing me? <laughs> like, like are you threatening or promising that you won't mail? <laughs> <laughs> um, these are special pe pieces. I know, I know. So, um, they're just backup pieces. Yeah, okay. I may have to order them. I just hope there's... But where can I put the other t two pieces in? I don't know. In Something. Instead of the, 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 these gray pieces. Something you're going to figure out. Now, are you going to get ready or not? Yes. Yeah. Do you did you put all of that bedding upstairs? In the we need to put it like in a trash bag or something to take up to the cabins. Um, no, not to the cabin, to the mountain house. Are you taking two pillows each? I'm taking I'm taking like four four pillows. <laughs> you don't need four pillows. I need Maxwell. I need four pillows. I, uh, what do I need? I need four pillows. Uh, uh, I need five pillows, uh, actually. Uh, you, you, you need a leg pillow. You need a ta-ta pillow. A ta -ta boob pillow? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, yes. A, uh, a neck. Yeah, yeah, yes, you need a neck pillow. You need a belly pillow. I, I need a... Uh, you, uh, you, you need a back neck pillow. You need a cheek pillow. It's like... <laughs> How many pillows uh, do you sleep with? Three? Three? But, but you sleep with whopping ten. Yeah. Well, I like and, my pillows. And, and, and just on your bed, you have like eight, ten pillows. I know. I know. I like and, pillows. And you just keep adding more, more pillows. I know. I, I like pillows. I yeah. I like pillows. You could suffocate in your own pillows. <laughs> Daddy came. I don't in. understand. Daddy came in and he's like, "Are oh, these stinking pillows?" <laughs> <laughs> the only time I see Daddy throw things, get rid of the pillows, darling. <laughs> I don't understand. All right, whatever. Okay, Bye. go find your piece. Goodbye it's for Have you. A good one. Just taking a morning walk down our little lane here next to our house. We don't live in the woods anymore, but we do live down this lovely lane, and with the fields over here. As you know, we live on a very busy road up there, but down here. It's fairly dead quiet. There's our house over there. So I just went for a lovely walk. The, the, it's early morning. The heat has finally broken. Uh, and it's actually very fairly cool out this morning. <gasps> it's been a brutal, brutal summer here. Really, really hot. And as you know, I don't do the heat. And, and it's just been so lovely indoors, but I yearn to be outside and where we used to live, we used to live in woods. Days. Um, wow. It is about 10 degrees cooler anyway at, up in the mountains, um, in the Pocono Mountains. So um, we're just getting ready to go. Um, I just went for a walk and we're loading up a trailer, our, our little box trailer here. Um, because uh, we had our one son asked Ian if he could just bring th some things up. So. There's our house, little house on the prairie there. Oh. And Maxwell is loading up our truck with bedding. And I think there's, there's bedding, up, uh, there's beds up there, but I don't believe there's any bedding. So we're just taking some pillows and things. Um, so yeah, it's exciting. So yeah, there's our little house on the prairie. There's Roger, thank you. 
bringing things. And again, there's the side of our house, but there's the lane that we live down. And the further down we get, the quieter it gets. This is lovely. It's really, really lovely. Anyway, um, I'm just going to film what I uh, what I film, and um, yeah, we, we will show you along the way. I've got a washer and dryer. Yeah. Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> we just left. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Are we there yet? There's our Roger. I'm saying, are we there yet? <laughs> Back to what I just said, are we there yet? After a couple of hours of driving through some pretty some pretty gnarly mountain roads to get up here we are up at um, our one our, our son's cabins nobody's here um, right now we are just dropping off our uh, trailer um, and then they're coming back up but we're going over to our other son's home uh, the other house in the mountains um, it's just so lovely to be up in the mountains again and uh, last year, if you remember, you saw me walking through these woods with all of this, these ferns. I've just videoed the driveway coming down to our son's property. But these ferns here, these fields of ferns are just so beautiful. Oh, they're just so glorious. It's so pretty. It's just so lovely um, here. Our son responded to a Facebook ad saying if you wanted to uh, get this play set, you can come and get it and disassemble it. So that's what our son did. It was free. I believe somebody had moved into a home and they didn't want it. <laughs> and so they came up here and built this, this area here for the kiddies. It's just so lovely. Um, last year, I, you, if you remember, this is where we were riding our quads. Um, I have a couple videos that the trails are all up in the woods. Our sons bring their quads and ride through these woods. He owns about 60 acres of uh, woods here. And again, as I was saying, these, these two cabins are completely off the grid. There's the solar house, the solar, the solar field. It's just so lovely. So nice. Hmm. There's 
Sarah Jackson. So we are up here at this other mountain house. <laughs> Look at the size of these boulders. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so pretty. This house was completely, not derelict, but in much, much need of renovating. And our sons bought this and have redone most everything. The wall here that borders the property. So our son Justin made this table. It's a lithe edge. It took about eight months. It took him about eight months. Look at to that. To cure it. To cure the piece of wood. Yeah, and construct. And construct it. With special joints. What are they called? Uh, domino. Domino joints. Domino like butterfly joints. Butterfly joints. And Ian is now securing Top to bottom. <laughs> you know those lovely little gallows brackets that we have? We've got one at home. It's black metal yeah. with a curved yes. cross member or brace. Yeah. We need a few of those, two at each end, to supplement what we've got here because the table is going to be lifted up by the top and the weight of the, the legs. The base, yeah. And the base. I just don't think those these four screws will be they could shear. If any engineers on will know what shearing of metal is. Uh, Roger's an engineer. He understands shear. So did you fill in all the holes, Jackson, here? Oh here you did. I did. I need to uh, wipe the holes. We need to sand it. And wipe it. Justin's gone to the hardware store and gotten the blue tape. He's getting it now. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear. This is where Jackson sleeps. <laughs> top deck. As you can see, this is an older, much older deck. It's lovely and big. They're going to have all their patio furniture up here after they finish the deck. Or refinish it, I should say. It's a lovely oversized two-car garage. And there's the house. Again, three floors of living. And everything pretty much is new. The roof is new. They've redone the fireplace. The decks are old, but um, they've done a really good job. Just come up on weekends. This is my brother. So walking up to the house, <coughs> they're doing some, taking some doors off. Here's our Maxwell. You can come down. Thank you, darling. house used to have a staircase going down and then the staircase was around the end the other end they built the staircase going up to the main floor and this is the middle floor this lovely little games room family room down here we put in that fireplace this is one bedroom. A little bunk. What'll be a one on there? 
There's another bedroom. And then there's a bedroom in there. And then there's a bathroom in here. It's a full bath. And then down here, it's not done, it's still a construction site. But it's getting there. This is going to be a, a, a bunk room for all of the girls. And another family room, playroom for all the kids. And then this like little bar area here. For down. This is these are the utilities and the stacked washer and dryer. There's another bathroom in here, will be, and another bunk room in there. making this video of our few days away visiting our sons and I'm walking up one of their side roads here up in the mountain enjoyed a lovely cool evening and today a lovely cool day it's been so wonderful hopefully you can hear me you probably can't see that we're um, almost 1,800 feet above sea level here. And there's the lake out there. Now you probably can't see that. going to come over to this part of the property over here and right there was one of the, uh, the 
defunct ski slopes. Now it was interesting, last winter time, he <laughs> thought it would be fun to uh, he, ski, no, snowboard, snowboard down. He's got a lot of snow up in the mountains to snowboard down the um, slope there. <laughs> he said it took, took a couple of seconds to get down and a, an hour to get back up. <laughs> there's obviously no, there's obviously no, no towing capability to get up to get back up the mountain it's so funny he's like i'm never gonna do that they have to be careful as i was saying in my my uh, other son's property they have to be careful with their trash when it's put out because the bears come out so actually they're they're going to be building a bear a uh, bear trash can uh, more like a dumpster for the trash they generate so the bears can't just tip over a can but um, they don't hurt anybody, although they've had have seen them. All sorts of wildlife up here. So pretty. Anyway, we are having a, like I said, a, sort of a working holiday. Enjoying it though so much. Went to bed last night. Went to, went out to dinner. Went to bed last night at like nine o'clock. The fresh air. We have not had fresh air for two months. It's so it's so glorious to be able to breathe. And this is mountain air. It's just, it's just been wonderful. Oh, I love it. I love it. And the boys are working so hard. Jackson and Maxwell. Lovely. Oh, your lovely hair. Jackson needs a haircut. Comment below. Does, does Jackson need a haircut? Yes or no? You should make a poll. I should make a poll. You just, post. Okay, but they have to see your hair. Quickly, pull it up. Come on, Jackson. How obnoxious is this there? Folks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my goodness oh, gracious. I, got, damn, I, <laughs> I have a collection of these. <laughs> Me and my dad. I saw I saw when he was driving up. He had these. Yeah. They're, they're, inside on the thing. they're, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. So Jackson, how many doors is this? <laughs> Seven doors. And how many to go? Uh, I have to do every single door again. Second coat. Times. And the back. <laughs> Would it be easier to roll them? Uh, yeah, but just for these joints. You ah, do a, yeah. You can use the roller, but it doesn't get well. Because of the panel. Yeah. Good job. Do you enjoy working hard? Yeah, depends on what it is. Yeah. Do you enjoy painting? I do. Yeah. You can really see the fruitage of your hard work. Yeah. Good boy. They'd rather be playing video games, but uh, they're helping with their strength, their youth. It's really nice. It's really lovely because they see the benefit of it. So anyway, I'm coming back, coming back into the property here. And it's going to be lovely when it's all finished. And so this along with the cabins, the entire family can come up and enjoy, enjoy the lake, enjoy the restaurants, it's a lovely area. Okay, I'll check back. <laughs>